Now, remember when the Democrats used to be all about hope and change? I was born in a little town called Hope, Arkansas. It was a wonderful little small town where, you know, it seemed that everybody knew everybody else. Do we participate in a politics of cynicism or do we participate in a politics of hope? Hope in the face of difficulty. Hope in the face of uncertainty. But now the Democrat Party is singing a different tune. Democracy uh, doesn't always die in a military coup. Yes. Democracy dies at the ballot box. That's exactly right. I actually think there's a fair chance that we could completely lose our constitutional democracy for a couple of decades if we keep making, if we make bad decisions. Oh my God, talk about looking defeated. Bad decisions, is that what Bill Clinton just talked about? Well, we know what a bad decision was, don't we? Deciding to endorse Biden in the first place. Now, of all people, Bill Clinton should have warned his party about the risks of veering too far to the left. After all, a more centrist approach is what gave Bill Clinton two terms in the White House. And by the way, it's not just the end of democracy altogether that they're warning about. Some are even predicting a civil war. This is a group that has been radicalized by the great replacement myth and many other things and have been pushing for violence and pushing for even civil war. Let me, let me say this. That was one of the most irresponsible comments I've heard in a long time, and that's a long list. We wholeheartedly reject this dark and pessimistic view of our country. Now, what ails America now is the agenda of the far left progressives, the fanatics that have taken the Democratic Party hostage and set us on this disastrous path we now find ourselves on. Like, we don't have to have $6 a gallon gas. We don't have to have a president who is a complete embarrassment on the world stage. We certainly don't have to have criminals owning our streets. We know we don't have to have an open border. Back in 2019, pre-pandemic, we had none of those things. And we had low unemployment, rising wages, higher optimism, no inflation. You know what we had? We had peace and prosperity. And we can have it again. And even during COVID, I was thinking about this. Trump did Operation Warp Speed. He urged America to get back to work, get back to school, get back to business. Had we done just that moving through the Biden administration and kept going with our energy independence, controlled our streets, our borders, my God, we'd be in a very strong position right now vis-a-vis -vis China and uh, Russia and the other adversaries. But unfortunately for us, and I warned about this in the campaign, Biden is too weak to stand up to the fanatics on the far left. And look at what they've done already, how much harm they've done to urban America. And now much of that harm is starting to spread coast to coast because of the economic pain before us. Now, even the New York Times is admitting this today, saying this is going to hurt. Of course, Trump and many of us predicted most everything that's unfolding right now, right down to the gas prices and a collapse in the stock market. We were right, sadly. And they, with their rosy predictions about how wonderful and dignified and elated and harmonious everything would be under Biden, they were wrong. The truth is, they set out from day one to lower our standard of living, to diminish our freedoms, and to radically alter the American landscape. And to some extent, they've accomplished a lot of that. Now, they did this because they never much had a lot of faith in America in the first place. And frankly, they just don't like the American people very much either. They hate our history. They hate our founding, our traditions, our patriotism, even our own borders. To them, it's not really the land of the free and the home of the brave. It's the land that was stolen and the home of the racists. And because Americans are on the verge of throwing them out of office, they suddenly want to tell us democracy no longer works or it's in jeopardy? No, let me tell you how it goes. When Democrats lose huge in November and then in 2024, we will once again see the genius of the founders at play. The people will have had their say and they'll have rejected the failed policies and foolish corrupt politicians who enacted them. And after that, it's restoration time 
and that's the angle. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.